Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Geekish Glitter Lacquer the Crab. I'm a double stamp. I've started off with Nail Teaks Formula 2, and this is Geekish Glitter Lacquer the Crab. Beautiful polish. Kind of a rusty orange and dusty, rusty orange with lots of little, you know, um, duochrome gold flecks in it. Love it. It's got an excellent formula. Love, love polishes like this that just kind of go on like butter. I'm digging it. And I had to have it. This was the first polish in a collection I saw on Instagram. Geekish Glitter Lacquer um, is doing like a Zodiac um, line. And I think the crab was the first one. So here we go. We're going in with the second coat right now. And the second coat is going on just as easy as that first coat did. I truly... I mean, you know, this is probably more of a fall appropriate color, but, you know, since I'm a crab and it was just my birthday month, you know, I just had to wear it. So here it is. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry down for that double stamping I was talking about. Look, ooh, ooh, you start putting that top coat on it. Look at that. A little gold just pops out all over. Oh, breathtaking. It's just. Stunning. Today I'll be using Westonia W304 and my little Conad stamper and some Beauty Big Bang stamping polishes, the gold and the black, dropping stuff. 002 is the black and 011 is the gold. So here we go. We're just going to get these like wave looking ones and I'm going to stamp them in black. There we go. Come on, camera. And then we're going to stamp over the images in gold later. Oh, I might have ruined it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I am sorry I'm out of frame. When I sat down to edit this, I was like, back to our old tricks again, getting all out of frame. I am going to get this right one day. I'm going to get my settings just right, and I'm going to nail them to the wall because all y'all are seeing me is scraping that plate there we go and I do have a band-aid on my thumb this is Westonia's W106 and it's the only crab on any plate that I own I had to remedy this I have another plate coming with another crab on it because this is just like a goofy little cartoon crab so disappointed but I used it anyway <laughs> <clears throat> but yes, I have a band-aid on my thumb on my left hand because I'm um, messing with all those stamping plates. I had a, um, I had, a I had an incident with, with some of them that don't have backings on them. So there might be a project coming up very soon where I show you uh, me making backings for some of those plates that are so dangerous. And normally when I mess with them one at a time, I don't have trouble, but when you're messing with a big stack of them, they can be, you know, quite dangerous. So I fit three little crabs just kind of all over my nail, and I might should have only gone with two, because my nails are a little bit shorter, but, nah, you know, I wanted three. So I got three, because it's my birthday month, right? <laughs> I'm going to use as long as I can. So there we go. I'm so cute. I'm having the dropsies today, so excuse me. And I just keep plopping those little crabs all over my nails. And that one didn't turn out so good. We're going to try a do-over on that one. That silly little crab staring back at me. He got a smiley face on his face. I'm smiling. So there we go, out of frame again. This is called the out of frame video. wonder how many times I can, you know, run it for you guys, but, <laughs> oh goodness. The girl gets to playing and just stops paying attention to everything else. 
And this one's kind of in frame, but it's so blurry you can't see it because the camera acting goofy. I am thinking about ordering some different lights too. Maybe that will help. We will see. So now we're going to go in with some of that gold. Got to line this rascal up. There we go. I was just kind of worried that that orange was going to be so dark that when I did the gold, it was just going to kind of wash it out. So I went ahead and did the black behind it. And I don't nail it like stamping everything right exactly on top of where the other one is. It's kind of offset a little bit, but that's okay for me. I was, I was, I don't know what I was really going for, but that was okay for me. We're going to go back to that Wissonia plate and do the same. We're going to use that same gold polish and do some, you know, over stamping, double stamping, you know. There we go. Cleaning that plate off with the acetone and a cotton ball in between each round. I just cannot get it together, you guys. I don't, I just don't know what we're going to do with her. And then I played off again. Oh, goodness. But this manicure turned out so cute that I decided, even though the footage was pretty bad, that I still wanted to share. So there we go, get in frame. So I'm going to go ahead and cover those other crabs up also with some gold. Just trying to let it dry a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know why. I guess for some reason I thought that I needed to dry it, but we just think crazy sometimes. Trust me, that paint was dry. And not like that stamper's gonna pick it up off my nail, but I guess I was worried. There we go. Let's back out a little bit. There we go. We should have done that like, you know seven minutes ago. <laughs> but now you can see what I'm doing, but it's still blurry because now the camera don't want to focus. See, it's just a, a, a no-win situation sometimes with this between the camera, the lighting, the positioning, my bads. <laughs> but I know you guys want to see what I'm doing, so... I've always told you that I share everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. So there we go. They're all done. We're going to go in with our little piece of tape and get up some of that excess. It's coming up rather well. That always makes me happy. And now for some tidying up with the acetone and my cleanup brush. You don't have to use acetone. You can use regular nail polish remover. I'm going to be using that smudge free top coat again from Bundle, Bundle Monster. Um, <clears throat> when this bottle runs out, I will repurchase. I might try another brand just so that we've got, you know, something to go off of. But I am really happy with it. And now we're going to top it off with some posh. And I, I would highly recommend no matter you know what you do if you use the bundle monster or any of the other smudge free top coats to definitely go ahead and use your regular top coat as well um, I'm hearing stories that if you don't then it starts peeling or whatever after a day or two so there's that and here's my manicure a little crazy crabs and my wild golden black waves <laughs> here's my swatch photo i hope you enjoyed this one leave me a comment down below let me know what you think thanks for watching and until next time be good to yourself <laughs>